So there are a few videos that are currently making round about Pastor Isaac Oyedepo and his new ministry which he has opened of course somewhat leaving his father uh, ministry talking about Bishop David Oyedepo and speaking of this video I actually came across this video by one prophet Rita Bai okay and he seems to have some sort of opinions one thing I can tell is that this is opinion if it's supposed to be considered as prophecy or maybe it's just his own opinion however we're also going to be seeing a video from what uh, the person of dr paul and nature said which i believe to some extent is able to tackle whatsoever it is that prophet rita by has said that seems to be making wave on the social so let's get first of all to see what prophet rita by said I had a young man, his father is a minister for almost 40 or 50 years. He said God called him to start his ministry. I was praying today when a young man that died, I don't call people's name, but let me call, when to be sure died, all the disciples, I told myself and my children, I said none of them will stay. I said it long ago. This young man that moved, that he has a call of revival. No. You will say, I say, he is deceived by his wife. You see, once you marry a woman and you love her so much and you reference her and she tells you what to do and you do, you are heading to crash. There is no amount of revival grace you have that you cannot revive in your father's ministry. The ministry is all over the globe. That was the word I heard the father was saying. He said, I never begged to come to this level. I never borrowed to come to this level. A lot of words I was just watching, I was just laughing. When God called Moses, the younger one, I gave him ministry, he spoke to Aaron. Aaron has grace. Aaron did not go to establish his own. Aaron, being the elder brother, had to succumb both Miriam to support the ministry of Moses. If you say you have a call, is it not a God work? Can't you establish that your gift in this very ministry? Must you go and... I never break in any church. Nobody anointed me. I never, if I have pastored in any church, I will never leave that church till I die. What am I going to establish for? It's money. Femme name that's all tell us of the truth if you have any gift why can't you show it here i was born and brought up as a catholic i never attended any church living faith i attended living faith church seven months for the dedication till tomorrow i'm a staunch catholic till jesus come i will tell the truth i don't hide things because that is where i was baptized i'll tell the truth i will tell the truth you see our problem is just these things. Let me be the one. Somebody told me long ago, I can't preach. I said, you should bring someone that can preach. And I gave everybody preaching, even on Sunday. You feel you are better than me? That's just, it's, a, it's a grace. Take the microphone. I sit, we hear. The word that comes, as long as it's from the scripture, we obey it all. You see why Muslims will go far? No one own anything. The same one Quran, the same one Malam. What are you establishing? You have, the Father has the ministry, more than one million ministers all over the globe. Which revival are you going to revive? Let's tell us the truth. There's nothing like revival. That means all the whole one million ministers should perish. If you have the revival, you are giving a youth leader. Start from the youth and revive them. Revive the youth. Revive the youth. You will hear the story. Any leader that allow woman to control him crash my word is always painful because truth is painful but sit down you might not believe me and that's one thing i love my word my word god gave me is once you're on your own you say it is true but once you're here you, uh, uh, that's the truth clap your hands for jesus now before we get into what dr paul nhs said okay i think no matter how logical and how reasonable or sounding this prophet Rita by my seem to sound let's not forget whatever he's saying here is actually on the ground of his own opinion and if you ask me i would want to consider some of his word as being extreme i mean for him to have said this of the wife of pastor isaac Oyedepo, i mean because if you look at what he said, it, it sounded as though he knows what he's talking about or maybe perhaps he's speaking out of prophecy. Well, that I can't actually determine. But 
talking about this whole matter i think one thing is certain is that people's work will definitely be tested i mean every man's work will be tested and that also includes that which pastor isaac intends to start up or is already starting up god has actually not called anyone to be under some kind of denomination or to be under some kind of ministry i mean god instruction can actually be specific to some persons but we can't just come and say there are the ways which we can't just come and say there is a doctrine or a teaching in the bible that specifies that someone should be under a ministry i mean the baseline here is that he is moving out to do god's work let's not forget that he is not going there to do his own work although some persons might want to argue that his breaking out might be as a result of wanting more fame wanting a fame and wanting the whole thing to be on the center you might be true but that still does not change the fact that it's just your opinion the way i say this thing whether it is god that called them into the ministry whether it is his own desire there is something very vital here that we fail to consider and which is the fact that the likes of pastor paul and nature pastor david ibiome and bishop david oridepo these three men stood by him and Came together to send him forth into that new ministry now if you are a good student of the bible just on the base of this thing this man is supposed to prosper and i will give you two reasons from the scripture the first one is this the bible says whatsoever two of you if the two of you shall agree as touching a thing it is established it will be established in heaven that is to say god as we to us some kind of god has delegated to us some kind of power and authority to exercise what can stand on earth so if these two people if these three people came together to say we have seen what you said god wants you to do we are standing by you go ahead into your ministry as a matter of fact i don't see anything at all that can actually make this man fail very well that every man's work is bound to be tested by fire okay but looking at the whole process of him starting a new ministry is that they are in support of this new ministry the vital thing for me here now is the advice which pastor Paul and nature actually gave why they were sending him forth okay and also it was very clear when he stated that look let there be no narrative of any form this young man is going to this ministry because the call of god upon his life is youth focus and also has to do with campuses so let there be no narrative so whatsoever anybody is saying so long as these fathers are standing behind him is just and will only remain your own opinion what god has done is there is no challenge whatsoever first pastor isaac and his wife are full-fledged members of Winners Chapel worldwide. Full-fledged members remain connected. Number two, he remains under the spiritual coverage, both physical and spiritual coverage of his spiritual and physical father, Bishop David Oyedepo. And third, he has a trust that has to do with youth campuses, and he's going for that further trust. That is all that has happened. Let it be clear so that nobody gives any wrong narrative. God be praised. Can we give the Lord the praise and we appreciate him and honor? I think the most important thing here is the advice which Dr. Paul and Richard gave to him, which is he should be mindful of his association. Yes, and so long as he take heed to this advice, always getting always being submitted to his spiritual father, I don't see anything at all that will make this man to fail. Forget about what that prophet Rita by said. I mean, for me, for him to have even mentioned the prophet, uh, the, this prophet, uh, for him to have even mentioned this prophet, Prophet T.B. Joshua, is actually a red flag for me. The way I want to see Prophet Rita by, the way I want to see Prophet Rita by his opinion is just one of those people that believes people should not branch off. But come on, whether you are in one ministry or in another ministry, the most important thing is that we are doing God's work. And also, God has not called any man into any denomination. Yes, God's instruction can be to you specific to stay under some persons he has given to you as pastors. But you can't 
take that as a baseline for all Christians that we should and must of a necessity remain under some kind of denomination or be under some kind of ministry. It's not true. It's not scriptural. So let